in this particular chapter trade transport and communication the word usually used used for the particular chapter is trade transport and communication but here the word used is transport and communication because uh, the three are interrelated that's why you see transport communication and trade word here now what is trade trade is exchange of goods and services right so it depends on commodities so whenever there is trade there is commodities which are to be transported and for that communication is needed now transport provides network of links and carriers now network of links and carriers links ka matlab hota hai usually we use links as roads and carriers are the vehicles which are moving on the roads right now if you see for transportation in the past human beings were also used like it's like cycle rickshaw like in that human effort is a lot hai na then roads and railway if you see they are very efficient on land on the land you have roads and railways in the water you have shipping and waterways in the air you have airways and pipelines are used to carry petroleum natural gas and liquefied uh, form of uh, ore also uh, iron ore can also go through pipeline if it is liquefied means mixed with water now a question comes transportation is an organized service industry created to satisfy basic needs of the society discuss if this question comes transport is an organized service industry uh, created to satisfy the basic needs of the society the answer will include that in a transport network which is a which is a service industry there are arteries now what are arteries arteries are the roads or the highways okay then there are vehicles what are vehicles they can be trucks if they are carrying goods it can be buses if it is carrying people organization is who is maintaining the roads which particular road are you on and who is maintaining that road like if you are on a border road then border road organization is maintaining it to maintain the arteries roads are also called as arteries that is why the word arteries to handle loading unloading and delivery so the road transport includes three important parts first is loading of the goods second is unloading of the goods and then delivery it says every nation has developed various kind of transport for defense purposes and what is most important in transport is assured and speedy transportation along with efficient communication because transport and communication they go hand in hand hai na because if there is a communication that such and such thing is closed then you may not go to that place so transport and communication are linked to each other and what is a transport network that's a question that may come and if the question comes then every transport network has got links means roads and also crossings which are called as nodes the principal mode of transportation are uh, land water air and so here the word is mode mode is for land on land we saw railways and uh, roadways water we saw uh, ships inland and uh, marine and airways also we saw uh, planes which may be uh, flying within the country or outside the country right and then the last one is pipelines now the next question that comes is in a well managed transport system these various modes are complementary to each other in a well managed transport system modes of transport are complementary to each other discuss ये क्वेश्चन होगा दूसरा क्वेश्चन क्या होगा 
the significance of mode of transport depends on the type of goods and services to be transported cost of the transport and mode available ab ye dono question they are nearly the the same type question agar hum kisi bhi transportation mein dekhe to usme do cheeze bahut important hai aur one first cheez jo usme bahut important hai wo hai passenger क्योंकि जो पैसेंजर्स हैं यूजुअली दे आर द वंस हु आर गोइंग सो पैसेंजर्स आर इंपॉर्टेंट एंड इफ व्हेन इट कम्स टू ट्रेन द वेट दैट वी यूज इज ऑलवेज कॉल्ड एज फ्रेट ओके नाउ इंटरनेशनल मूवमेंट ऑफ गुड्स किससे होगा ओशन फ्रेटर्स से फ्रेटर्स मतलब बोझा उठाने वाली बड़ी बड़ी शिप्स रोड ट्रांसपोर्ट चीपर ओवर द शॉर्टर डिस्टेंस एंड डोर टू डोर सर्विस प्रोवाइड करेंगे ठीक है रोड ट्रांसपोर्ट की दो एडवांटेज होगी एक तो चीपर होगी ओवर शॉर्टर डिस्टेंस एंड इट विल ऑल्सो प्रोवाइड डोर टू डोर सर्विस रेलवे आर मोस्ट सुटेड फॉर बल्कि मटीरियल फॉर लॉन्ग डिस्टेंस विद इन अ कंट्री तो इफ द मटीरियल इज बल्कि एंड अ लार्ज वॉल्यूम ऑफ बल्कि मटीरियल देन द बेस्ट थिंग विल बी रेलवे फॉर दैट राइट and if it is very high value light and perishable good all these three characters should be there it should be high value it should be light and it should be perishable then it will go by airways so if you see it is the same question being asked in two different language one is in a well managed transport system these the various mode of transport are complementary to each other or significance of mode of transport of uh dip, depends on uh the cost of transport the mode available and the goods and services to be transported so ye teeno cheezon ko ab dekho if it is the heaviest and it's on the road or land it is railways if it is heaviest and it's on the sea it is ocean freighters if it is costly light and perishable it is airways so with this we move to land transport land transport if you see land transport mein palki if you see it's this uh, something which was carried for the queen and even in marriage for the bride we had palki so even palki is something which was used in the past also and even now you can see that palki it is carried by four kahars hai na and if you see then comes the beast of burden now who are the beast of burden we let's mark this up and see that mule horses and camels are considered to be uh, beast of burden because they are the ones that have to carry the load and then came different inventions and one of the greatest invention was the invention of the steam engine the steam engine was invented in 18th century it's the first public railway line 1825 and it goes from stockton to darlington remember this stockton to darlington and uh, this is the first railway line made in england and then you can see the same railway line also was helpful in development of usa it opened the interior of the continents and for uh, uh, mining for farming for manufacturing and then came the internal combustion engine now this is uh, your cars so manufacturing of cars started and that was in road transport and cars and then trucks also came in so uh, two major achievements will be internal combustion engine which will be second and the first one should be this one we should write down as uh, steam engine and even before that is invention of the wheel so uh, then another question comes uh, newer developments in land transport are so what are the new developments in land transport pipelines ropeways and cableways 
so there may be a question what are the newer developments in land transport the answer will be pipelines ropeways and cableways liquids like mineral oil water sludge sewers are transported by pipelines so what are the things transported by pipelines here is the answer uh, water sludge sewer hai na now then another question what are great freight carriers and the answer is roadways ocean ways barges boats motor trucks and pipelines in densely populated districts of india and china overland transport still takes by place by human porters to matlab human porters jo hai yahan par bhi use ho rahe hain kahan par india mein aur china mein so if there is a question uh, name the countries where human porters are still used so you can or carts drawn or pushed by humans are still being used then the answer will be india and china now there can be another question about uh, name the various pack animals or so this is a very good question for you to understand so here you can see from here to here this is all your pack animals and in this question horses are used in western countries horses were used in the past everywhere in the world hai na and dogs reindeers are used in north america hai na europe and siberia so then to draw the sledge over the snow covered ground mules mules are preferred in the mountain regions theek hai and then camels camels are used for Uh, the caravan karma jise kehte hain the word karma that comes from caravan and movement in the desert and in india the bullocks are used for pulling the carts so you can see uh, all of them are important uh, pack animal roads are economical in short distance theek hai and they offer door to door service ek to economical hoti hai short distance mein door to door service provide karti hai aur metal aur unmetal do type ki roads hoti hai yahan par matlab aap ek flow chart bana sakte hain you can make a flow chart and they are simple to construct and are if you see do type ki roads hoti hai metal and unmetal metal roads jo hai they are still सो मेटल रोड जो है दे आर स्टिल बेटर अनमेटल कच्ची होती हैं तो वो ऑल सीजन में नहीं चल सकती और जो मेटल होती हैं वो रेनी सीजन में एक हैंडी कैप हो ही जाता है अगर पानी भर जा रहा है उसके ऊपर तो रोड अनमेटल तो बिल्कुल ही उसमें गाड़ियां धस जाएंगी और जो मेटल होंगी वो खराब हो जाएंगी रोड्स अपने आप में नाउ रेलवे ट्रांसपोर्ट हैज वन एडवांटेज that it's an effective solution during the rainy season if you have to go to a long distance the best way is to go by railways because uh, the rail tracks are always very high and but the problem is that the railway tracks will not be able to cover as much area as the roadways usually covers now in the next paragraph you understand the concept of autobahns now autobahns are the highways of germany if you see they are the very good highways where the speed is very they are long distance and uh, they have got uh, a lot of facilities just like in india we have got uh, national highways in germany the uh, word uses autobahns right and then if you see world total uh, length of the road is 15 million किलोमीटर ऑफ विच नॉर्थ अमेरिका अकाउंट फॉर थर्टी थ्री परसेंट तो सबसे ज्यादा कहां पर है नॉर्थ अमेरिका में थर्टी थ्री परसेंट द हाइएस्ट रोड डेंसिटी एंड द नंबर ऑफ कॉन्टिनेंट आर रजिस्टर्ड इन दिस कॉन्टिनेंट इन दिस कॉन्टिनेंट मतलब यूएसए 
एज कंपेयर टू वेस्टर्न यूरोप मतलब वेस्टर्न यूरोप में नहीं है इस कॉन्टिनेंट में अब देन वी कम टू द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ ट्रैफिक फ्लो एंड 